Great stuff. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And it's a Friday, by the way, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We're about to celebrate new times. Come on. I just got this from a client of mine, and they're celebrating a victory that they just landed uh, in um, this July month. And so I want to uh, enjoy this with you guys. If you want to have fun with me this lovely Friday afternoon. Guys, my name is Prosper Tarovinga. I'm sorry I'm not an alcoholic, but I want to help you have a business that's worth talking about and it's profitable and enjoyable. I own Live Long Digital, which is a full-scale digital marketing agency in Melbourne that is going to help you market, scale, and grow your business so that you have a business that's profitable and, endure, and, and enjoyable. Okay, so if this is the first time you're checking us out, please write one because this is going to be an explosive 30 minutes um, you know, of non-stop education as to how and what we actually do to grow and prosper around these circles, okay? And if this is not your first time, thank you so much for tuning in. I see Juna has tuned in, uh, Luke is in the house, everybody else. And I was just saying, guys, my client is excited about the work and the stuff that we brought out for them, so they got me this. But instead, I'm not going to drink this with you guys. I'm actually going to... Uh, enjoy an ice cold beverage. Cheers. We are celebrating, homies. We are celebrating. It's a Friday, by the way. And if you are close to your fridge or if you're close to a beer, cheers with me and let's get it started. Today, guys, we're talking about something that's really close and dear to my heart that I haven't experienced. Um, with and I'm actually practicing and doing every single day. So you want to hang in for this one That felt good. That felt good. Did you hear the sound of that? Sound of victory. The sound of excitement. Okay, there we go. Now, as I keep saying guys, every single day that you're not putting content out there, you're missing out on the whole bandwagon. I'm going to say this again. People are coming to the internet to get information. Now, if your brand is not providing that information, you're missing out, right? And when you're providing that content, people get to know, like, and trust you, okay? So this is how it all works out. If you really look at all the people that are, have started really big brands, let me give you an example of a big brand that's giving away content for free. Google, all right? Facebook, all right, Uber, okay, Amazon, okay, eBay. All of these bad boys are offering a platform that you don't have to pay for unless you really want to get more with, with, with whatever you're putting in there, all right? So it's now so much of a free economy that you really got to be abundant. You really got to show people you can help them by actually helping them. All right, because all these are the people that are gating their content, um, you know, putting um, a whole barricade to, oh, you can only see this when you open up this, you know, jump these hoops, etc., etc. Your clients are getting information from somebody else. Okay, I'm going to read you the numbers. This is the end of July for some of us. That's the reason why we're celebrating, guys. We're celebrating a lot of things. Clients are happy, business is booming, and all given to the fact that this is video number 67 or 77 of the 30-minute episodes that I do every single day for free. For the month of July alone, this is what has come in uh, from my, uh, my accountant or the person that does my money. We've had 3,338 new subscribers. These are new leads that have come through our funnels, all right, without having done much, all right? And we have boosted or done a few ads just for the business. We've spent 850 on ad spend, which has brought in all these new leads, okay? And most of the people are coming through blogs. Most of the people are coming through YouTube. Most of the people are coming through Facebook. All right, and this is all the channels that we are actually sitting every single day scheduling this show, scheduling the content that goes out so that we actually show people we know what we're about, we're trustworthy, and we actually are here to help. 
Okay, now tell me somebody who might be in the whole periphery who's doing these kind of numbers where you give out your content for free and the more people are coming in, they're signing up. You know what? Because they're excited. 3,338 just for the month of Ju July. Okay, and um, it, 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 to, to, to even put it a little bit further, I've been invited to feature on eight podcasts. All right, what does that do? It puts you in front of a different audience that have never heard about me, that have never seen me, that have never, um, you know, interacted with me, but I automatically borrow that audience, I automatically borrow that person's credibility by being on their show. Okay, that's eight podcasts from the 1st of July up until the 21st right now, all because of giving out content for free. I've been featured in six blogs, and I've written 14 of my own. So that's 20 pieces of content that are just going around there with my name, with the brand name, with my content, with my stuff. All right. So now can you imagine how all of that is all just going to be easy? Because when people are searching on Google, when people are looking for all these things, what are they going to find? They're just going to find stuff that is relevant to them. They already know what they're searching for. And if my content is the one that's just going to tip them across, they get to know me. They get to trust what I'm saying. And eventually it ends up into a purchase. Okay. So and we're still going on around that. And 12,485, that's gross sales to date from the 1st of July to the 21st of July. Of, of, of July right now. Those are the sales that have come through on an ad spend of 850, if you can say that, and the rest has just been putting out free content. It might not sound like a lot, but look at this. This is just one month, all right, of you just really creating and relating to the people that you know would need your service because you really want to serve people instead of just treat people into coming in and selling them stuff that doesn't help them. In the process, I'm getting to know every single one of you guys that is coming into my, um, you know, into my newsfeed. I make it a point every single day to, to create and relate and to contact and to actually show people that I'm here if they need any help. Now, if you can tell me something, do any of your marketing campaigns include giving out stuff for free that actually shows the human side of you? Or does all your marketing campaign just promote um, offers that you have and it's all sell, sell, sell? In all your marketing campaigns, are you, um, you know, putting out some sort of information so that people get to an understanding of who you are? Even the big brands, they give out samples, they give out freebies at the shopping mall there, you know, you're, you're given a, 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 a tryout or a free trial or something like that. Are you integrating any of those things into your, you know, your economy? Because look at Google. What do they actually, everybody else has now turned and turned Google into an everyday word that, you know, what, what do you call, what do you call it when something becomes the norm? Um, you know, just Google it. It's become part of our vocabulary. It's become part of our livelihood. And what are they actually doing? They're giving out a free platform that you can use to search other people's content so that you too can help yourself. Enda, Kasi, how are you doing? Johnny Norris, how are you going? Facebook is a free platform for everybody else. Now they've gone up to 2 billion people because the bar of entry is simple. And they make their money behind the scenes by those people that actually see the worth of getting those people onto their eyeballs. All right. So if you really, really, really are in it for the long haul and you really, really want to start making some real coin and some real impact... All right. There's got to be things that you can look around and see if you cannot put out for free. You know, I'll just give you a, 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 a brief spectrum of what are the actual benefits of putting your content out there. Duncan, how's it going, my man? One of the best things is when the customer comes to buy from you or they hear about you. I always say this. They need to know about you eight to nine times. All right. Just like when you go out and have a drink, you just don't have one. And you're already making a mess of yourself. You need consecutive drinks up until you start feeling the buzz. Unless you're like a lightweight. All right. 
People need to see your content eight to nine times so that they can actually get to understand, are you, are you the right kind of person they should be in, in, in engaging with? All right. Nobody just comes around to you and is ready to buy and is ready to be sold. And people like buying stuff, but they don't like to be particularly sold. All right. So with that content, you now start to position your brand as an authority. You now start to position your brand as somebody who actually cares about what they're doing. Because if you're only just putting out ads and then when somebody comes to your, um, you know, website, they don't see any blogs, they don't see any infographs, they don't see any videos, they don't see any webinars, they don't see any Facebook lives, they don't see any, you know, anal um, you know, any maybe third party people talking about you or any ebooks or any white papers or any interactive presentation, then what is it that you're actually selling? How are people going to know that you're the person to actually, you know, you know, soothe the pain that they have? Right about now, every single person can just really start a business. But what's your story? Where did you come from? Who backs you up? Who is the one person who's actually working with you? Who knows you? What social proof do you have that if I give you my money today, you're not just going to throw it away? You know, and Ross, yeah, well, tell me, tell me what you've got there for me, man. And thanks for tuning in, by the way. And Nicole, thank you so much. Have you got a beer there? Let's enjoy this drink. It's a Friday, by the way. We might as well, you know, because every single time that you're getting into a market, people are already skeptical. You are not the first person to enter that market. All right. And you're not going to be the last. All right. So what is it that you're doing to actually make sure that that skeptical market is already getting to know, like and trust who you are? Ross says when you go to a store and try a sample, if you buy the box and it doesn't taste as good as the free sample, wouldn't you be pissed? Oh, that's beautiful. Exactly. Well, at the end of the day, it then depends, you know, what it is that you're putting out there as well. But I'm just saying. If you're not bringing people to you, and if you're not actually getting people to know, like, and trust what you can offer, it's then going to be their decision to actually see what value you can bring to the marketplace. So the value shouldn't be better than what's in the course. It should be as good as the course um, should be better. I'm not, I'm not getting what you're getting at there, Ross. So the value shouldn't be better than what's in the course. And it should be as good as what the course. I mean, obviously, what you're trying to. Uh, yeah, I know you've got a course, and maybe you might think that I'm. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm eating into your lunch there, but yeah, that's a scarcity mindset, brah. I. I really thought you were better than that. Anyway, um. So there we go. So people reduce their skepticism, and at the end of the day, you are actually educating customers on what to want. Okay, you're actually educating customers on the project product features and the way it actually differs from all the other products that are on the market and how you're separating yourself from the competition. All right. So as, as long as you're going, people would all Rose, I'm live. Okay. So I can't have a conversation with just you. It's, it's difficult to, yeah, you know what I mean? I mean, let's, let's have that conversation a little bit later. All right. So at the end of the day, you can actually start um, addressing sort of whatever objections people might have. You may, people might have some sort of, um, you know, preconceived conceptions of who you are or what they think you're about to sell them. If you show them, all right, then it's up to them to make that, uh, you know, um, decision of where it is that they, they think your product or your service is going to put them. All right. People are looking for information. They want to buy stuff or they want to know or be educated about certain things. Now, if your brand is the one that's providing that information, guess what's going to happen? They're going to come through to you. And then when they're ready to purchase, because whenever somebody is looking for something online, it doesn't mean they're ready to purchase then, or it doesn't mean that they don't know somebody that might need that service. But how are they going to know what you've got to offer if all of it is in a gated environment? How are they going to know what you've got to offer if all of it is just, you know, you know, hush, hush. And it's like, 
you know, a few people that need to understand or know what it is that it is. I'm just talking from my own experience, all right? So don't catch feelings if your brand is not providing information and you want to maybe establish your own authority in my wall. It's, it's not pretty much going to work like that. But at the end of the day, what I'm really, really meaning is if you give away your best content, your business will actually grow. Right? If you give it away and you offer people stuff that they can get to sample on who you are, what it is that you offer, they then make that decision on their own if you're the person for them to go for. All right? Because at the end of the day, we might try and convince people, but people already make their own decisions and the best impact you might have on anyone is when they've actually made their own decision and made their own conclusion about your work about your stuff and about everything else that's going on, um, you know, that they might think you can help them. Everybody else is trying to run away from some sort of a pain, all right? Everybody else is going through some sort of a kofafo, all right? Asa, how are you doing, my friend? Thanks for tuning in, all right? So if you're going to show them that I can help you by actually helping them, people will be running and knocking on your door and say, hey, listen, here's my money, take it, on, uh, uh, take it away. Believe it or not, you know what I mean? Every day that I wake up, I'm supposed to be making a profit for my investors. And by investors, I'm talking of me, all right? But how am I going to reach out to all those other people that have never heard of my content, all right? Every single time when somebody hears your stuff for the first time, what that means for them, what that entails them to do is they gotta listen to it at least six to eight times. All right. Before they even make that decision that you're the person to work with them. All right. That's the reason why Coca-Cola advertises to you every single time, six times, either it's through a billboard, a radio message, etc., etc. OK, so, you know, the business model of offering something for free first has actually propelled my business. It might not work for you. It might not work for other industries. I don't know what it is that you do, but if it's something that you think is probably going to work, just type in A there so that we see what sort of business you do. Guys, believe it or not, the more companies, um, you know, start or businesses start looking at it this way and, and, and look at how other bigger, bigger enterprises like Google, like Facebook, like Uber, like whatever company you can think of, they give you a free trial first so that you can try it out. Google is free for life, all right? But look at how many people are coming to their business and they then sell a few other things there, all right? Because if you've got a mindset of scarcity, if you've got a mindset of, oh my God, this is all gonna run dry, you know, it's fine, but you are not opening up your heart and you're just going to be maybe a one click wonder. How are people going to know about you? Because this is what it is. It takes 10,000 hours for you to actually master a craft. It takes 10,000 goddamn hours of you working, networking, blogging, putting out stuff there up until people will pay attention. And guess what? It takes one second one second for somebody to just see your stuff and scroll past. It takes one second for somebody to just look at your stuff and then click skip ad. Okay, so obviously at the end of the day, if you've got stuff, show people you can help them by actually helping them. Yeah. If you can give away something for free, people would want to reciprocate that with their credit card because that's what they know best. But what's good? What good is it to hold on to 100% of nothing or just holding on to 1% that's owned by everybody? You know? At the end of the day, we all have stuff to give away. You might not be ready as it is to give away your information, but a, a couple of, um, you know, a couple of, um, a couple of blogs here and there, a couple of videos here and there, because Facebook is making it so difficult every single day for anyone to be poor. All right. They're giving us this live channel and this is what I do. I take the videos out 
and then from there I put it on a blog and then from there it's put on YouTube and all of that is just content that I'm putting out there. I'm not saying sit down for 30 minutes and put stuff out there, but it might sound like it's ludicrous, all right? If you are in it for the long haul, if you really, really want to win in this game, if you really, really want to reach out to as many people as possible, because the amount of value that you put into the market then translate into the man, amount of value that you then be, um, that then comes into your pocket. We're all out there to try and be heard. We're all out there to try and be and be seen, etc., etc. But people are not seeing our stuff enough. All right. So if you're putting out pictures, your stories of behind the scenes, if you're putting out webinars, if you're putting out case studies, if you're putting out ebooks, if you're putting out blog posts, all of this stuff you can do it for free. But like I said yesterday, there's three stages of this whole entrepreneurial journey. Some of you guys are just newbies, and some are the busy bees, and some are actually in the prosperity circle. All right? The newbies are the people that are doing it all, and they don't have networks, and they don't know what to do next. They're just trying to chase their tail. They're just studying and whacking moles every single time. The busy bees are the ones that actually think maybe they're getting ahead, but they are not making money yet. All right? They're busy doing everything. They're just putting stuff out there. And the people in the prosperity circle, all they're doing is creating and relating to the people that matter most to their business. All right. All you do is wake up and see how how can I create and relate to the people that are going to pay me money tomorrow. You 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 elevate yourself into a, a level of just giving because the more you give, the more you're going to receive. But if you're just going to hold on to whatever course or whatever stuff that you have and you're not really relating to the people that will pay you money, how is anyone else going to know what it is that you serve? I'm not saying work for free, but this this content has a compounding effect. All right, people are 24/7 searching for content. People are looking to go from where they are to where they want to be. So if your content is going to bridge the gap when they're ready to make a purchase from you, who guess who they're going to call? You know? You know, to some of you this whole concept of, you know, free economics or giving away your best content might just go away, go against the conventional business wisdom that you're supposed to be making a profit. But there's no denying that the impact that you can have on people by actually just showing up and showing that you care and documenting the whole process through your content is actually going to serve you a whole lot more than you holding on to your knowledge. Because let me tell you something, what you think you know can be Googled. That's, that's an obvious case. What you think you know can be Googled. So just because you can articulate it any better than the other person, it doesn't mean somebody has not put out content about that. So I can speak from personal experience, guys, saying that this has been one of the best ways that I've actually learned. And my mission is to give back. I've learned a whole lot from people that have just put out their content for free. And so that's the reason why I feel like I've got to give back. There's laws to this thing. You know what I mean? Nature has its own laws. You know, um, you know, a a a any given time that um, what happens a any given time that um, a tree is in the sunlight and all the, uh, you know, your nutrients are available. There's no way it's going to stop growing. All right. The tree is not paying for that sunlight. The tree is not paying for 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 that, um, you know, carbon dioxide to turn into oxygen. All right. But what is it doing? It's going to bear fruit. And then that fruit is where the money comes from. All right. Most of the things that we we're trying to charge people for the next person just down in your newsfeed is probably giving it away for free. And then you're sitting there and wondering, why is my stuff not working? So it might not be a strategy for you, all right? Maybe because it requires a long-term commitment because once you start putting out content there, obviously don't expect it to pay you tomorrow, but the compounding effect of it. I've had people that have been following me for years, 
for months, for days. And when, when I get them on the call, it doesn't sound like it's a sales call at all. It feels like I, they've known me forever. And all I'm just doing is filling in the gaps of what I haven't actually told them. Now look at this. If I'm giving out this information for free, imagine if you actually have to pay for it. What would you get when you're actually paying for it? So at the end of the day, it might sound like it's, it's, it's a whole twist on the way that business is supposed to be done. But the majority is always wrong, guys. If the majority is doing things in a certain way, why don't you try it? Because right now, people are actually getting paid for being nice. The nice people are the guys that are actually winning in this industry. And I can see it. All the people that are showing up, all the people that are doing the stuff and putting in the work, they're the people that are getting paid. And all the guys that are really going, hey, look at me, look at me, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. I can see them being ignored. Because at the end of the day, you, you don't control, you know, the feelings. Because people are not buying from logic anymore. People are actually buying from emotion. So what are you doing to, to pluck those strings every single day or every month or every week? Whichever way you design to put your content out there. Are people getting to know who you are? Are you building that authority? Are you, you know, putting out value? Or are you actually, you know, you might think that there's so much information out there or you're adding to the noise, but they haven't heard your noise. You know, there's a guy, I put a post, if we finish this video, you want to scroll down a little bit. I put a post about a photographer that stayed in one single place for six years. All right. And when he, when he was there, he took about 720,000 photos of a kingfisher, which is the fastest bird in all, our, all our, our, you know, in nature. It is the fastest bird, like it goes like really fast. And he caught it just as it was hitting the water. And then there's a, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a, also another reflection of it right there like that. And that photo won him amounts of awards, a lot of money. Now he can rest. But back in the time when he was doing it, nobody cared about what he was doing. You never know when your end goal is. You never know when the winning part is, or you never know when, 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 when the, um, when the price comes in or who's watching or who's looking at your stuff. You know, you might think you've put out an ad or you might think you've put out like some, some stuff. People are too busy, busy living their lives. So the more you keep pounding, the more you keep heading onto that oak tree, that's when you will get it to fall. Alright? So at the end of the day, um, this is this is me, man. This is exactly how I'm running my business. And if somebody says I'm doing the wrong thing, just come and hang around in my wall or in my my business for a week, and you see the difference. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it's, it's one of those things. If if your stuff is not really working and people are not responding to your offers and people are not really, you know, reciprocating with their credit card or something like that, just try being human. I think the whole hustle mentality has, has, has crippled people and they've become so desensitized. Just be human. Be nice. Smile. Give out stuff. And I think you will actually start seeing a lot of results. You know why? Because from there, people get to know you. You, you are actually attracting the right kind of people because you can't influence somebody who hasn't made a conclusion about who you are or what you've got to offer or if they can trust you. Now, how are they going to trust you if they haven't heard anything about you or even seen anything that you're offering that you do know what you're talking about? All right. So at the end of the day, if you're just spamming sales speeches or, you know, you're just going around from group to group, leaving your link and not, you know, waiting for people to actually get to know you and doing anything else. Why don't you change that strategy a little bit? Start offering stuff a little bit for free. First of all, it doesn't cost you a penny, but your future customers will see it as a priceless gift. And when somebody really appreciates your stuff, they will jump on a call and they will offer you their money. 
I really hope this was a good one. And I hope if you are also watching this, have a drink. And if you're having a drink, click the like button. Because it's a Friday, we might as well. You know what I mean? Because this is, this is the life. We can't keep, you know, hiding behind avatars and think that people don't realize that you're human too, you know? All right. So pretty much at the end of the day, I really hope that you guys are going to have a fantastic weekend. And if stuff that I said to you today, you've got any questions, let's continue the conversation um, in, the, um, in the comments below. I really, really, really want you to win. I really, really, really want you to start making real money. I really, really want you to succeed. What are you doing for yourself to guarantee those results? All right. Your message, your life story has got so much commercial value than you could ever think of. You are not the avatar you're trying to represent. You are not the fidget spinner you're selling. Who are you as a person? I want you to win. All right. Let me know in the comments if this is something that you're going to implement in your business. And guys, let's all enjoy um, a, a fantastic weekend. And thank you so much for tuning in today.